The PWM is a technique that controls the duty cycle. So let's see what's a duty cycle and why do we care about it? As it turns out, a P pulse width modulation signal is just an it's just a digital signal that goes between zero and one. It's just a square wave signal that goes zero or one logic, and one could be whatever value it is, whether it's five volts, three point three, or one volt. Duty cycle is by definition is the proportion of time that that signal stays in the on position versus the total period of the whole signal. And if you write the equation for it, this is what it is. It's basically just a percentage between the on proportion versus the all proportion in here, or the total period of the pulse switch modulation cycle. Okay, so let's take a, a few examples or look at a few examples uh, with different duty cycles. So in the first one in here, it tells me that 25% of the time, um, the signal is in the on position, and of course it's going to be 75% of the time in the off position or zero position. Uh, this duty cycle, which is 50%, it tells me it's 50% in the on, 50% in the off. And in here, it's the opposite to the first one, which is 75% in the on position, 25% in the off position. Okay, so again, the pulse width modulation is just a technique that controls this particular metric, which is the duty cycle. So why do we care? Well, we do care because of the following. Instantaneously, if you take a look at the pulse width modulation signal in here, or if you connect a device like an LED or a motor or any analog device, what it does see, it does see the instantaneous voltage. It's either going to see zero volts or whatever one is. And for our purposes, we're just going to call it zero volts in here and we're going to call it VCC in here. Basically, that VCC could be zero, it could be, sorry, one, five, um, 3.3 volts. Let's just call it VCC. So instantaneously, that device just sees zero and one. But on the long run, because it's an analog device, it doesn't know that this is actually digital ones and zeros. What it does see, it sees the average voltage. Like So if, you, if that device is monitoring that signal or is connected to this particular signal for a certain period of time, we're just gonna, it's just going to see the average. So the way we calculate an average voltage that that device can see is borrowed from the way we actually compute expectation in probability theory. So in probability theory, it tells me that if you want to compute an expectation of a, func of a value or a random variable, well, let's call it V in this particular case, you just have to multiply that V by its probability. That's where this is coming from. Okay, so what are the possible values of V? Well, the possible values of the voltage, it's either zero volt or VCC. And I know that I have to sum because of this is actually a summation signal in here. Okay, so what's the probability of VCC? Well, the probability of VCC is the probability uh, of having a logic one. And if you, if, you, if you use the frequency interpretation of probability theory, that's exactly D, okay, which is the proportion of time it is in the on position. Of course, if it's D in the on position, that means it's one minus D in the off position. So if you do these calculations a little bit and, and, and you do the math, you will see that it's just basically D times VCC. D in here is actually the duty cycle and VCC is that voltage in here. So what do we have in here? Well, what we have is the following. If you connect an analog device to this particular signal, that analog device will see an average voltage and that average voltage is exactly D multiplied by VCC. So if you do change D between zero and one, because D is a proportion, you can get a signal that actually goes from zero all the way to VCC volts. So that by controlling the duty cycle, you're controlling the amount of voltage or the amount of voltage that that analog device is seeing. And in terms, it's the amount of power you're providing to that analog device. And this is why we care about duty cycle. And that, uh, that metric in here is what we usually change in the pulse width modulation.